Anything we see becomes an image in our mind. Despite our vast visual culture, it seems like a mystery how these images work exactly. A digital image is really just a structure of tiny picture elements, known as pixels for short. Kind of like the blocks that make up a world in Minecraft, or the tiles in a mosaic, or even a game of tic-tac-toe. The X's and O's tell the players who makes a mark on each square. In a digital image, numbers are assigned to each pixel, which tells our technology how to display the image. This grid of numbers in rows and columns is called a matrix. By processing these pixels as numbers, images can be easily stored and read inside a device's memory. Zooming in, you notice that each pixel looks like a flat colored square. This is a visual representation of a measured intensity of light. In a grayscale image, this intensity of light ranges from black to white. In between, there's a total of 256 possible colors or light intensities. But why 256? Technology remembers our image using bytes. Each pixel is represented by one byte in a device's memory. A byte is equal to 8 bits. Since there are two combinations that each bit can have, which are empty or full, and there are 8 bits, we can raise 2 to the 8th power and we get 256 possible light intensities. So your device reads and translates these combinations of bits into numeric values. So in a grayscale image, each pixel translates into a single number. Black is the lowest at 0 and white is the highest at 255. Color images, on the other hand, use three times the memory needed for a grayscale image. Each colored pixel translates to a combination of three numbers corresponding to each of the three color planes. Red, green, and blue, each with a range of 256 possible values. Using a combination of these three planes, just about any color can be digitally displayed. But what happened to black, white, and all the grays in between that are found in grayscale images? They're all still available to use. Just take that same single number value from before and copy it over two more times. Whether grayscale or color, these numbers form pixels that blend seamlessly into the images we see on our screens. The cool thing to note is that using simple math, we can change these number values and as a result, the image changes too.